Hello, Internet. I'm here to demo some new developments in the Spout and Resolume integration that Lynn Jarvis from the Spout crew has been working on. It's pretty amazing. Previously, uh, Resolume Arena and Avenue uh, will display a processing sketch, for instance, one of these, and it will display it in the window. It's great, it handles vectors and stuff, but what would be really nice is if I was able to pass data and pass control methods into my processing sketch from inside Resolute. Now, we can go ahead and do that. Let's see how it works. So, I've already installed, let's hide this, I've already installed the necessary libraries for Spout. Let's go over here and drag Spout Controller into our deck. Just like this, and nothing happens. Well, that makes sense. I don't have a processing sketch running. However, you'll see that we have some parameters. Speed, start X, start Y, index, and Y, show path, user text, things like that. You'll also see I'm running a demo version of Arena. It's because I'm not doing this demo on my uh, performance machine. I'm running it on my development machine. Anyway, so if I take my processing sketch here, and I hit play. Let's hide this window. Look at that. You can see I have a very nice process in sketch, all vector, playing inside Resolute. Let's play with some of the parameters. So how this processing sketch works is I have this very nice triangle particle field, and it can follow a path. I can set my X position that it goes to, and it just bounces back and forth. And you can see here, there's a path here that it goes. I can adjust my X, end X position and move it over here, and it goes from one end of the screen to the other. And then also adjust the Y position. So my start X position is going to be up here, and as you can see, it will follow to the path here. You'll notice that it's not truly following the path. That's because I have not integrated very good path following formula yet. If I do it at the proper 45 degree angle, it should, it should work a little bit better. Now, just like the way Flash plugins work in processing, you have a choice of Boolean, String, and Float values. So if I want to hide the path, I'll toggle the Show and Hide Path button, and you can show and hide the path this way. And let's just keep it going horizontally because that seems to um, make the most make the most sense. Let's have a perfect horizontal movement here. And of course, one nice thing is that we can actually integrate really good text. So I want to say how awesome Lynn from the Jarvis from the Spout team is. I tap that. It says, Lynn Jarvis is awesome. If you want to find out more about this, go here. And be sure to support these guys. So, how does this work, you ask? Well, it's quite simple. If you go into your plugins folder for Resolume Avenue or Arena, you'll see a text file there called spoutcontrols.txt. See, spoutcontrols.txt. And you guys are smart. You'll see that all of our values that appear in the Resolume environment, the user text, the speed, the start x, start y, etc., they're all in here. It's the string name that appears in Resolume, the type, of data it is, boolean, text, or probably what you guys will end up using most is float. And then all that stuff appears here. So if I want to change something, if I want to add a parameter, let's say I want to add a float value called wavy gravy. I, I don't know what that means. I would just copy, paste,
wavy gravy. Bam. Got to have my comma. Save it. Nothing happens. But if I drop Spout Controller back onto the Resolume environment, come on. You'll see here, I have a new value called Wavy Gravy. It's pretty awesome. Now, obviously that's not doing anything to my processing sketch. I would have to add that in here. In my setup file, not my setup file, I'm sorry, in my setup function in processing, down here I have a bunch of variables creating the spout controls. And you see I have the ones I was using previously, user text, show path, start x, start y. In here I would add my wavy gravy control, right? And then in my draw function, I would just listen for my control name being passed from Resolume into my processing sketch. My control name has the string of whatever control value I want, then do something. And in, here, in this case, I'm changing the X and the Y position. So you, there you have it. How to fully integrate Resolume with processing. It's very exciting, and once again, thanks to the Spout team and Lynn Jarvis for putting this together. It's super amazing, uh, and you guys can see how flexible and all the possibilities that can be created from this. Thank you very much.